compare girls and boys who are going to school more. Boys and girls who are going to school. Yes. The boys. Okay. South Saharan Africa has the highest number of girls out of school. And they are denied the right to education. So my name is Neskiu Ajik. I work with Comfit Tanzania. Comfit is a campaign for female education. It's an organization that uh, strives to empowering uh, girls through uh, access to education, through access to social and economic uh, opportunities that they have been deprived of. Uh, to do so, CAMFED is working with different stakeholders from the district council, community levels, schools, and the young girls themselves. These are the girls that without comfort support, they wouldn't have seen the light of education. Wow! Wow! Uh, being a learner guide means uh, working as a volunteer in secondary school and basically working with youth in schools and providing them with life skills uh, education. Before becoming a learner guide, uh, Comfort provides this young woman with training. And the tr training lasts for 11 days. And she's being trained um, on how to work with the community, so community mobilization skills. She's being trained on delivering life skills. The life skills program that Elena Guide facilitates in school was developed by Pearson uh, together with Comfort. And basically the program aims at empowering a young person to self-recognition, to know who they are, uh, what are they capable of, what are their talents, and to know whether they are using their talents efficiently to impact their learning, to know whether are they having any challenges in their families or school level, and if they have those challenges, we are giving them problem-solving skills. Wow! Wow! Elena Guide is an important model to the students that she works with because one thing uh, to note is that Elena Guide is a formal student of the school that she's volunteering. So she knows the teachers, she knows the learning environment, and she knows the challenges that are in the school. And she has already gone through all of that until her graduation of secondary school. That makes her a very good person for the students to confide in because they are speaking with someone that has been to the shoes they are in at that time. So that is very easy for the youth to open up to Lena Guide. And on top of that, she is within their peer group because she's 18 and you find she's mentoring another girl who's 16 who is 18. It is very easy for students to confide in her fellow youth of the problems she's having rather than to confide to an adult who is 30 or 40 years old. That makes it easier for the learner guide to be able to identify the challenges her fellow youth are going through but also be able to link them with the support that they need. Wow! Wow! One of them it is extremely poverty. That is the biggest. I mean, the rest just comes as additional, but the biggest problem with these young girls, it is poverty. You are coming home from a family where there is no meal, you are starving, you cannot learn in school. You are coming home from a family that basically you don't have shoes, it, be it becomes even hard for you to go to school. Wow! Wow! The Lena Guide program has brought in a huge impact and value to the lives of the Lena Guide and the lives of the communities. Today, these young girls, they have a status. They are being taken as equal as teachers in schools. Their families are feeling proud to have their daughters being recognized in their communities, being recognized to government leaders, being recognized to the school levels. I remember one day a story from a girl called Cheka. I asked her, after three months of being a learner guide, what do you love the most about being a learner guide? And she told me, Nasi, right now there is only one thing that I like the most. I remember it was during the week I was coming from school. Uh, I mean, I was coming from home, going to the market. It was a day that I did not have a session in school. 
On the way there with my basket, getting vegetables to cook at home, there was a number of students that were just coming from school. And those students, they were shouting, Madam, Madam. I kept on walking. I had no idea. Surprisingly, those students were addressing me. So in the end, they had to say, Madam Cheka. I felt like, like something busted in my heart. Oh, you mean me? And for that moment, I felt very valued. I felt very respected because normally in my village, a teacher is the one that call, is being addressed to madam, being respected. Today, I'm as equal as my teacher. Wow. Wow. For a young girl to volunteer in her community uh, throughout the year is not that easy, depending, knowing that most of these girls are still living with their parents and they're depending on their parents. Comfort recognizes that. So as an incentive um, to their commitment, we have partnered with Kiva, which provides these learner guides with social interest loans. And these are loans that are being uh, taken as contributions from people around the world who are supporting what the learner guides are doing in the, towards the development of their own communities. Um, Elena Guide, when she receives this Kiva loan, she will start a business or build an existing one and uh, she will do the repayment of her loan and uh, most of the time these businesses are very successful and uh, they end up also supporting their own families with the uh, domestic needs of the house but also they use the profits, they support their fellow young sisters and brothers through, through school but above all these loans have enabled young young girls, learner guides, to be able to provide employment opportunities to their fellow youth in their communities. Wow. Wow. One of the challenges we are having with um, rural schools is maintaining or keeping female teachers. And this is mainly a challenge because of the infrastructures are not conducive enough. And this is where most of the time the learner guides become very vital into supporting the youth in the schools. Having recognized that, Comfort has worked with Pearson uh, to develop a BTEC qualification, which is an international qualification uh, that will be uh, provided to learner guide upon graduation of their role as learner guide. Um, and we believe that this qualification would allow Lena Guide to pursue teaching career. And uh, this uh, pursuance of the teaching career would allow Lena Guide to later come back in their own communities, no longer as Lena Guide, but as qualified teachers. So we are looking forward to addressing the problem of having lack of teachers in the rural communities from primary schools to secondary schools through the BTEC qualification. So I can, you, can, you can really see that the impact of the Lena Guide program does not just end with the girl, it goes beyond the girl, it goes to the community, it goes to the change of structures, it goes to the change of system and changes of policies to see the value the youth can bring to their own communities. Let's give her the wild clap.